Okay, now here's Ed loading chain into a chain shot canister round. It's about half full now. Okay, half full. That's a 21 foot length of chain, so we'll see how much is left. Now it is about ready to load the canister projectile containing chain shot. Carefully inserting it into the muzzle. Now he'll go get the ramrod. All right. Now We're going to fire it. Fire in the hole. I think you hit it, Ed, because the target isn't there anymore. Let's go down and look at the target real quick. Here's the target after we put it back up. It fell down. There are many pieces of chain scattered around the target that we've been picking up, but that's what happened to the target. Okay, now Ed, Ed is preparing a canister round with a quarter inch bolt. How long are those, Ed? About three inches? Two, two and a half maybe. Oh, okay, two and a half inch bolts, a quarter inch, uh, just stove type bolts. Uh, go ahead and show us how they fit in there, Ed. Ed's going to fit them into the PVC canister. You see, he fits one set in, and he fits another set in. What's that weigh in there, Ed? That's close to five pounds, I suspect. Pretty close to five pounds, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and finish her up and put the sabot on. Here you go, looking down in there at the bolts. Very good, thank you. Okay, now we've got Ed putting the plywood sabot in place with uh, tape. And a canvas wad on the back. canister. Good shot. Now we'll go up and see what kind of damage we did. We'll look at the cannon. The cannon is still intact, although you notice it recoiled about four feet from where it was. About four foot of recoil. We've got a nice smoke stream coming out of the muzzle and out of the vent. Now we'll go down range and look at the target. A whole 25 yards away. So we've got a lot of nice smoke in the air. See the smoke? <coughs> uh, we did hit the target. And a couple pieces of chain are still uh, embedded in the target here, you see. But no bolts. Chain hanging the target. But no bolts. The wood uh, split it out of the bottom. And uh, quite a mess made by our nest of bolts. Oh, still see some of the bolts here. Ed's picking up some of the bolts that came out, some are bent. Okay, we're ready to go with shot number three. 
This will be a sand filled PVC pipe, approximately a foot long, aimed at the 100 yard target. We'll see what happens. 8 ounce charge of 2FA powder. <clears throat> Okay, now Ed is going to build a uh, PVC pipe with the wooden sabot at the bottom. He's going to fill it with sand, just ordinary uh, play box sand, and we're going to shoot that down range. We're just using the sand to add weight. A side view of the finished product. There we go. Okay, let's look at the bottom of it. Let's look at that canvas uh, with shot number four. Fire in the hole. People are still shooting over there, so we can't go down range quite yet. We'll go ahead and do our wet swabbing of the gun bore as we always do between shots to get any aluminum particles out and kill any sparks. And then we'll go ahead and uh, worm it out to get any uh, further aluminum parts out. Okay. okay, ready for what is this round number six? Ed is going to light the fuse for round number six, sand-filled 12-inch PVC pipe. Fire in the hole. Okay, we're ready for uh, the last shot of the day. 10 ounces of FG black powder in the English 7 pounder. Well, we got a little more recoil there than before. That was a chain shot round. 